this is the 28th May 2018 build of Pixel Experience ROM on Redmi Note 3. Here is a card if you want to see how to install this ROM. Well, after all this sickness of my health, I am Tito back with another video on KDE and Tech on a custom ROM for Redmi Note 3. So without further delay, let's get started. So first of all, let me talk about the performance and here I have to say it's as great as it could be on stock Android. App open up feels fast, browsing through apps like Instagram is a breeze. Even in memory management, it feels that it runs on stock Android and it can really hold up pretty much 5 to 10 apps in memory. So there is no issues that I faced regarding memory management or performance. And the gaming performance is good too. Beside the performance, let's talk about what's up with the camera. Well, with the stock camera app, you will see black screens unless you are shooting in portrait mode, but you can easily fix that by installing GC Mod 5 and changing the settings of it and it can shoot normal HDR plus enhanced pictures as well as portraits. So do keep that in mind to fix the black screen, install GC Mod 5. So in terms of camera, no huge issues that I found. And one of the coolest things over here is that banking apps does work right out of the box in this ROM. You do not have to flash Magisk Manager and in Play Store it shows the device as certified. So no issues from Google's side. And here is the about section of this ROM in case you are interested. Running on Android 8.1, May 5th 2018 security patch. From here you can see the stock kernel version and the build number as you can see. And you can check for system updates from here. I think you can install it from here too, but I'm not sure. In terms of customizations, well, here are some. In buttons, we have the navigation bar, which has Google Pixel like animations like this. Really cool, but I don't like that it takes too much of the screen. So let me just turn it off. And in terms of hardware button customizations, well, you can set each action for single tap, long press or even double press for home, menu and back key. As you can see, I have set the long press action for the menu key for screenshot. And the home button long press by default is set to Google Assistant, I didn't change it either, as you can tell. And as there is no double tap to sleep option anywhere in this ROM, so I have set the back button long press action to sleep and as you can see if I just tap and hold the back key it just gets the phone into sleep mode or it just simply locks the phone which is pretty cool in my opinion and we have long press power button when screen is off to toggle torch in this ROM too. Earlier this ROM didn't have these many features so now I have to say I love it and all the features present here work super fine. And we have some volume rocker customizations later on. In display, we have the night mode which turns the display yellowish. And this feature is working fine here too. So no issues with that. Adaptive or auto brightness works fine. You can even change the UI color and stuff to dark if you want that. And you have these many accent color options too, which you can set. 
In battery, you have option to enable or disable battery percentage on the status bar. And here is the battery life that I got with my kind of usage. In recents, there is no lock option for each app that I found. And to clear all apps, you have to go all the way to the top, then tap this clear all text as there is no clear all button as such. We have a modded pixel launcher over here by default and scrolling down anywhere on the home screen to get to the notification drawer is working fine here. Note that there is no double tap to sleep, neither double tap to wake feature present in this ROM. No brightness adjustments by scrolling a finger on the status bar feature like Lineage OS or Nitrogen OS. If you can live without those features and you are okay with most of the Google Pixel like or stock Android like experience on your Redmi Note 3, this is the perfect ROM for you. And yeah, face unlock is working fine, banking apps are working fine and even Play Store shows certified in settings. So to use banking apps, you don't have to use Magisk Manager or even Magisk Hide. It just works out of the box so you don't have to worry. Every damn thing which is important for daily driving is working super fine here, at least for me. So it gets a solid thumbs up from me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this work. This is Tito from KDNTX signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.